Hoverboard internals. What do these powerful, tiny little motors really look like? Well, you might hear companies saying that their boards have a 200 watt or a 300 watt motor, which is most likely true. Uh, but in general, they're all going to be pretty much the same design. And the only way you're going to get much more of a higher wattage motor, the motors are pretty much going to be the same. Uh, where the wattage comes from is what the electronics of the board dish out. Now, however, um, uh, certain, well, I don't know how to put it. Uh, so, the, yeah, the electronics pretty much uh, determine how much power is going to go to the motor. So it's quite possible that uh, they're all 250 watt motors for at least the 6.5 inch boards and that the uh, manufacturers are just kind of pumping a little bit more in there. Um, you know, I mean, you're really not stressing these like you would be uh, an electric car. So running it a little bit higher than uh, design should be just fine for something at this, this low of a power draw. Uh, but uh, or it could be the other way. Uh, 350 watt motors and the electronics are just uh, set for 250 watt. So either way, uh, these are uh, permanent magnet DC motors. Uh, very, very, uh, actually very well, well made design. Uh, although this one uh, did have a little fault, so I thought I'd take it apart. And it turns out one of the uh, had a little problem with one of the bamboo spacers had came out and uh, things got a little wobbly in there too close of a clearance and uh, somehow we had some scrapage and I mean, it still works it just we had scrapage so I thought I'd take it apart and looks like it kind of ate a little bit of a chunk out from the wobbling so this motor is done but I suppose so far out of uh, 300 boards, I'm down to my last 20 out of 300 total that I have gotten in. And out of that, uh, this is uh, the only uh, defective one I've had. So I'd say that's it's pretty good, uh, especially for uh, Chinese manufacturing. Uh, one out of three. Um, and uh, they already got a uh, replacement wheel motor coming to me. I thought I'd open it up and you know learn a bit. Uh, so basically, you got that. Now you have uh, the the wheel, the hub. This is called a brushless hub motor, and the inside is lined with with these magnets all the way around. Those are neodymium rare earth magnets. See in there. All this is just so shiny, I have to do kind of a indirect light, otherwise it'll just blind the camera no matter what I do. Um, there's a bearing on the bottom here, and basically the motor will just, literally, that you just, if I got this too close, it either lift the wheel up and suck it onto the, what I'm holding, or this would suck my hand down and just pull it right in there. These are very strong. I uh, took uh, standing in the wheel and uh, vice grips pliers so I could use both hands and all my strength, and then it finally popped out. And then here is the uh, board side. Wiring goes through there, and you got your your other bearing. Uh, pretty neat design, and uh, this really could be adapted to quite a quite a number of other things. I, I can just imagine some of the uh, hoverboard hacks that will be coming in the near future. So, uh, yeah, just thought some of you might might get a get a kick out of that and. Um, very interesting hardware on these. I can't wait to explore a little more. Smile, cheese!